y'all. Ooh. Today I'm doing something I don't believe I've done on the channel before. I think you probably have done this a few times. Let's be honest here, dude. I think I'm looking at probably around 8,000 calories just, just right here. I mean, that drink alone has got to be at least 800. Just, it, just, the IHOP, I, I haven't been to IHOP in so many years, dude. And you know what? The last time I did go to IHOP, I got hustled, dude. I had took a girl out on a date to an IHOP because it was right there, and she really didn't even like me at all, man. And I was under the impression that she did genuinely enjoy my presence, but it turned out that that same night that I took her out to IHOP, she went out and she she got, I don't know, double penetrated by some dudes that she met at the club or whatever. She told me that same night. I was like, like what, bro? Like, I'm not going to be, I spent like $40 on you and IHOP, dude. That's, that's like an astronomical amount of money for me at one point. You know, like, why would you, why would you do that? But I, I haven't been to IHOP since, so I don't know what they got going on there. But judging from what I see here on her, on this woman's plate, and don't get me wrong, I know this woman's like very nice and I know that she's very sweet, kind hearted individual, but God damn, bro, these calorie counts are literally incredible, dude. Uh, never in my life have I seen a burger. I think it's a bacon burger, a bacon burger with a pancake in the middle, kind of like a Big Mac. Big Mac has like the, the middle bun area, but she got that for the fucking pancake, dude. That's crazy. She got the chocolate on the side on that one on the left. I don't even know what that is on the middle one. And on the right, uh, I don't know. What is that? Like tater tots or some shit? Obviously, you got to have the sauce. But uh, yeah, this, yeah, this woman, this woman's crazy. Like, if you're a woman of this size, right, if you're big, if you're big, mukbangs, you would think that they would not be something on your agenda. You know what I'm saying? They they would not be there for something. They would not be something that you would invest time into because you're already living on the edge. Yeah, I know. I know this woman also had done some videos with uh, Nico, Nico Avocado and they do like collabs together or whatever. But I know that he's also currently losing weight. I don't know what this woman is doing. Maybe somebody can enlighten me. Um, I hope that she's losing weight, dude, because this is from a few years ago. But if somebody can please tell me this woman has tried to lose weight at least, dude, because uh, th this shit is extreme. And that's IHOP. Oh, and I've got a nice selection of food here. No way, dude. Trying out one of their limited time burgers. Hold on, dude. Uh, big pancake burger. Yeah, that's cr Oh, my God. Damn, bro. Damn, man. Just the burger alone, 1,210 calories. Holy shit. That's some people. <laughs> that's somebody. That's somebody's entire deficit just on the burger. Oh, my God. Damn. That is so much, dude. Fries, 320. That's actually not too bad, actually, for the fries. But I guess there are not many of them. So I guess maybe it actually is that. It is that bad. But Jesus, man. The one uh, one thousand two hundred. So in total, she's from this one meal alone. She's she's body slamming easily fifteen hundred, dude. Right, fifteen is some change. God damn. Got four. Got it's, three more. Uh, and the drink. Um, big IHOP pancake burger. Got to have that big one, which is a little weird, but hey, I'm weird, so why not? And I also got. Why does she have to inhale so drastically whenever she makes a new statement? <gasps> <gasps> like Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle. Like, I get it, dude. You're going to be severely exhausted after living in a body like this. But, dude, look at what you're eating. Obviously, you're not going to be of the most healthy variety of human being, being, you know, eating the food that she's doing right now, right? But, dude, it's so concerning having somebody that's, that's like, sitting here almost exhausted, taking breaths, these giant air, like, these giant pockets of air, that you have to swallow up after these individual sentences. She's not really even saying that much, too, after every sentence that she she says. But it, it, it's just because she's she's probably lived in this body for, I don't know, potentially decades, dude. And she's only been getting worse and worse because I'm presuming she gets rewarded for this because I'm looking at this shit right here, dude. Their selection of international pancakes. Because, you know, it's the International House of Pancakes, so... Are gonna have pancakes from all over, and uh, well, they've got uh, the Mexican churro Damn. pancakes, and I've got the side Damn, order. The sodium is craziness, dude. The sodium is like through the roof, man. Six fifty on the on the uh, the pancake over to the churro pancakes. I don't even know what a churro is, but I'm presuming it's some kind of like Guatemalan Mexican shit or something like that. 
I'm not from, I'm not cultured at all, dude. I, I could, I could take a little bit of hot sauce though. You know, I could sprinkle that onto my food and I'll be, I'm looking all right, you know, put a little bit of hot sauce on my tuna fish sandwich or something like that. I, I could do it. I could do it. But, uh, that's a lot of calories. The sodium is craziness, dude. And that drink over there on the right side, that is going to be insane. I bet. Um, tres leches pancakes. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Mexican tres leches pancakes. Um, which is also a side order and the That's Italian side? cannoli. Jesus, bro. So the, the middle thing was 1500, right? 1500. And then these two on the side right here, that that's like a thousand. And then that this right here is another 600. So what are we looking at here? Uh, we're probably looking at three, maybe 4k, 4k of food that we're looking at right here. That's crazy, dude. 4K? It's like three and some change. Like 350, 335? I don't know, man. It's a lot of fucking calories, dude. Eating literally some people's double the amount of food that somebody eats in a day in one meal? Oh my god. I don't even know how you can even begin to try to tell this person that they're doing wrong. Like, this entire thing right here is all wrong. This person should not be eating any of this shit. Because all of, even though it is a lot of food, but if you're eating three, three, 3,500 calories of this... That's just terrible, dude. And I get it. It might taste good. And you're getting rewarded for it because people online are probably looking at this shit like, <gasps> you know, that's probably what they're doing when they see you eat this shit. Damn, bro. That's crazy, man. Cakes. And they look a little different than the picture because I put all the toppings on myself. So I did the best I could. <laughs> okay. What to do first here? Okay, just throw it away. Um, ketchup, dude. Let's see. I'll put a little ketchup on my fries. Well glooped on there at some point right dang gotta lick the packets too at that bro I, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned when it comes to licking the packets dude because the amount of times i've been to a mcdonald's and i see some i remember one time i rolled up into a burger king don't recommend doing that but i i rolled up into a burger king and it was a um it was like a, a guy stacking you know like the cups at the very top of the cups like the lid of the cup you know they have them like in trays or whatever you can just take one but this guy was like filling them up right and he had dropped the entire the entire thing of of tops all over the floor and he just pres like i'm just looking like damn bro that sucks you have to throw all these away just wasted probably like three cents right nah he didn't throw it away dude. he just proceeded to pick them up and just put them right right in the fucking right in the trays dude right where you put the lids and i was like damn bro i, I i'm i am not buying a drink today if this is what you're doing I'm not buying a drink. And matter of fact, I should have probably, I should probably fucking walked out after seeing that shit, dude. If that's okay for you, then probably like rubbing your nutsack across a patty is like light work to you, right? I'd rather eat a nutsack, like a guy's nutsack juiced up uh, fucking nutsack, right? Talking about going to a gym for like an hour and a half, doing squats all day, having your nuts drag across the sweatpants, rub that against the patty and then give that to me willingly like show me you doing it i would much rather eat that than eat fucking than drink up floor floor lids you know sucking up the fucking disgusting amoebas and, and, and fucking um geckos and shit off the floors dude salamanders i'm not doing that shit i'd much rather fucking drink i'd much rather eat up uh a fucking burger patty from burger king by the way just slid across somebody's nutsack than fucking eat that shit mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. She's gonna be here for a while if this is how she mm -hmm. eats. Surprise ain't bad. I just wanted to taste them before they got cold. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. She's eating surprisingly slow. I you would think, right? Because when you are somebody of this size, you eat quite frequently. You eat probably five, six, seven, eight times a day. So you got to limit the time that you're eating, right? Obviously, this denomination of food is going to take you a while, regardless how fast you eat. But she, you would think that she would, maybe she speeds up it a little bit. But I mean, she got to take some big bites here, dude. I, I would think that the fries would be half done by now at the rate that, you know, at the rate that she's going, though, it's probably going to take her 45 minutes at least to body all this shit. I could probably do it in probably 30 minutes, probably. Pretty yeah, look good. at that elbow. What is that? Okay. Now I'm trying to figure out how to tackle this burger. Damn. It's got a big old pancake on it. That is, that's a double burger. There's bacon and. Damn, bruh. Cheese and some kind of sauce. Some special sauce. Oh my god. Yeah, it's got a big old pancake on it. What the hell? Jesus. All right, let's see if I can actually. 
Got to roll the hair back, dude. <laughs> Got to take a breath. <gasps> Damn. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, that's... This is, uh... This right here, even though you might think that this is not, that like, this is okay, this is fucking torture right here, dude. What I'm looking at right now, this is slowly torturing yourself. You might be thinking, like, oh, no, it's satisfaction. I think even sometimes satisfaction is torture because in the long run, even though in the moment it might seem like it's okay, five years down the line, not so much. The, then you start seeing the error of your ways, dude. And this shit right here that I'm looking at, oh, my God. A woman of this size, and I don't want to say anything bad about this woman, dude. Like I said, I, I think that she's probably a great person or whatever. Like, I'm not here to, like, bully her or anything like that. I'm just here to critique the, the fucking food choices at the size that these people are. But this is ridiculous, dude. This woman is sitting here body slamming a double cheeseburger with bacon, by the way, with a pancake in the middle. I mean... I don't even know how somebody could even come up with this idea. It, it, remember like a few years ago when they made that Domino's pizza and they had like cheeseburgers for the crust? You guys remember that shit? That shit was probably much less calorie than this. I mean, at least the idea I feel like should be less calories. This is ridiculous. It's a good burger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that thing is gone. Oh, my goodness. That burger's huge. What is that? Yeah, That's dude, I fucking knew it, bro. I fucking knew that fucking milkshake was gonna be big. Big as fuck, dude. Damn, 600 fucking calories for a drink is insane, bro. You're literally blowing out... Oh, I guess, I, to be honest, though, if you're if you're eating like this woman, it really doesn't fucking matter, obviously, dude. But it's not even that big. Like, look at the serving size. It's like, what is that, like a medium, dude? That's like nothing in there, bro. But you're, you're drinking 600 calories, dude? What even is that elbow Ooh, yeah dude no um the fact that she where's the water first of all you know how much sodium you're you're fucking swallowing down your throat with this one meal i can't believe this is even a meal for you but the amount of sodium like you gotta at least drink some water to counter that in some way right you can wash it all down with damn good you're not even really washing it down that thing is thick Ooh, strawberry Yum. It's not even real as strawberries, though. You know, it's, like, so weird when they say, like, strawberry. Like, what do you think the actual content of strawberry that's in that right there? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, obviously, that's not, like, real strawberry. It's probably, like, maybe, like, a faint strawberry. Maybe, like, they throw in, like, the shell of a strawberry or, like, the, the tail end of a strawberry. And then the rest is just, like, artificial flavor, right? That's got to be that's gotta be the case. So when people go, like, oh, strawberry or, like, orange orange flavored, it's, like, it's not actually that. It's like the idea of what an orange should taste like or the idea of what a grape should taste like, right? Because it's super exaggerated. Everybody knows that shit. When you drink like grape juice, right? Not like actual grape juice. I'm talking about like grape flavored shit. And then you eat an actual grape. Uh, actual grapes fucking suck com <laughs> compared to the flavoring of grape. If you understand what I'm saying, like the flavoring of grape is much more impactful than sucking down an actual grape you get what i'm saying like it's the same thing when it comes to strawberries when you when you eat strawberry flavored shit it's like super strong but then when you eat an actual strawberry it's like more watery than anything right I mean, it's obviously there's some strawberry flavoring there but it's so weird how we have like conditioned ourselves through this like i don't know since i've grown up dude like i i, I probably drank strawberry flavored shit before i even had a strawberry you know like i recently had a strawberry like my first time ever in my entire life uh, within like the last two weeks, I had a strawberry for the first fucking time, and I didn't like it, dude. Like, you know why? Because I, I, because I, I conditioned myself through years of living my life that I was thinking like, oh, this is what a strawberry should taste like. Because I've drank strawberry flavored shit or I've eaten strawberry flavored things, and then I thought this is what it's gonna taste like, and I ate it. I was like disappointed. I was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So like, it's probably like a guy that thinks about having sex a lot, right? Watches like an excessively large amount of porn. And then he actually has sex and he realizes that vagina smell. You know what I'm saying, dude? Or like, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the, the flavoring is off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or maybe, like, maybe he comes to the realization that not all girls want it rough. You get me? I think that's what it's like. I think that's what it's really like, dude, for me, because that shit was off putting. I was like, what the, this is a strawberry dude? Are we sure? And it was like, it was like an inorganic strawberry. You get what I'm saying? Like the strawberry is like the size of my fist. And I'm thinking like, damn, this shit is big as fuck, dude. And I was looking at like the non-organic variants of the strawberries. And I was like, 
I'm not buying that shit. It's like two dollars more. I'm getting like literally um the packaging is way bigger because the size of the strawberries had to be bigger, right? I mean, I'm not even playing either. Like this fucking strawberry was fucking goddamn massive. And I fucking bit into that shit like it was an apple. And I was disappointed. I was fucking bit it. I but I, I was not a bitch. I did finish it. Right. Let's see. The first ones I want to taste. Damn, dude. The ones I was looking forward to the most. This is one dude. This is one hell of a fucking combination, man. To have all of this shit simultaneously is insane, bro. Because at, at what point are your taste buds just completely confused? You're having so many different dishes from different eras, different environments, right? All going on, coming into your mouth simultaneously, dude. The burger and fries is like you have conditioned yourself for, for your entire life to know that that's just normal. But you eat a burger and fries and then you start body slamming some fucking chocolate chip pancakes, man. Your mind's gonna be like, what the fuck? What the hell is going on right now, dude? Where are we? You know what I'm saying, dude? It's like, like your mind thinks, for instance, like I know that most men nowadays beat off like crazy, dude. And I'm just thinking like, dude, my fucking, like my body probably thinks that I'm a fucking G. You know what I'm saying? Like my body probably thinks that I've, I've, I've had sex with like a billion women because the amount of times that I've beaten off. Yeah, dude. And I know that that's not normal. You get what I'm saying? That's probably not fucking normal. But anyway, let's just, let's keep going. There's the, um, cannoli pancakes. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm. That thing is thick. Woo! Damn, no syrup either, dude. Dry. Mmm. The sounds that she's making are is so exaggerated that there's no way that you eat to the quantity and the quality of this food this woman eats and think that any food tastes good anymore, right? Um, I also want to apologize. I'm sorry if you guys hear the thunderstorm that's going on right now here where I live. There's a big thunderstorm. I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's been like this for like the past three days. It doesn't actually rain. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the sky, man. You can't just be making all that noise and not rain. You know what I'm saying, dude? So it, it thunders here for a little bit and then it just fails or just nothing happens. And it's like completely fucking, you know, you're blue balling me because I like the fucking rain. I really do. But um, sorry if you hear the thunder. I get scared of it too. So if you hear me like scream or something like that, it's probably the reason why. But uh, yeah, dude, uh, she's she really makes some exaggerated noises for these particular types of food. Cannoli filling is so good. Damn, cannoli <laughs> filling it is a uh, tres leches cake. Damn, dude, but that's crazy. So this has all the caramel sauce, and um, that is fucking caramel on that shit. Dude, eating the fucking, sucking the juice off the, the plastic utensil to, to, to purify it for the next piece of disgusting, you know, the, the next piece of dis, dis, dis this delicacy that you have here. When in reality, what am I looking at, dude? This is fucking atrocious, man. It's haram. I'm looking at right here, dude. Ab look at the amount of fucking calories you're eating, dude. This is like somebody's entire fucking two days worth of food. You're just body slamming. No problem, man. Look at that arm. Frosting. Frosting mm. on pancakes, crazy. Come on. <laughs> mm. Damn, dude. You don't need it. Mm. Damn, dude. It's so sticky. <laughs> mm. Damn. Mm. Dude, why why is she even going to places like this? Going to IHOP and, and, and like getting these particular types of food. Man, she's getting rewarded for it, right? There's no way a normal person like gets this amount of food. You think when she went there and ordered it, they were looking at her like, where the rest of hey, where where are the rest of the people that you're ordering this for? And she's like, nah. <laughs> nah. What you mean the rest? Me. Me. This shit right here, all me. No problem, by the way, too. Because I'm bodying this shit. And you know what? I might even body a second serving without the camera even being on. Clean. Yeah, dude. <sighs> Total eating, dude. Half, half, half. And I guess she didn't eat the entire thing of all of it. But then again, it almost doesn't even matter when you're eating literally almost 2,000 calories in one sitting. That's insane, bro. 
the, dude, some literally she just ate more than some people's entire calorie count in a fucking day in one sitting. And she feels no remorse over this shit. Look at this shit. This abomination of food that she has upon her plate. The fucking the, the slurpy over there on the right. Damn. <laughs> Damn, dude. Why she sound like that? Y'all. Carl's Jr. Dang. Got me the. Oh, and it's going to be backwards. The double Western burger. Bacon. Double Western bacon burger. Ugh. She's out of breath constantly, dude. She's not doing anything but sitting down, man. Why are you so exacerbated off of just sitting down, dude? I'm not understanding it. What do you even have over here on the right? I know that's not water. I'm looking at a cherry on top of whatever the fuck that is right there, which is I feel like is a, like completely irrelevant, dude. You have like a lid on it. I don't know why the fuck you have a cherry in there as if that's going to do anything at all. I guess it's the aesthetic of it, right? It's a, it's like it's the aesthetic or the novelty of having a fucking uh, a cherry on top of things as if it's supposed to be something like, you know, exaggerated more, I guess. And stupid to me. Let's see, let me pull this out here. Damn, what the fuck? Show you guys. Hot dog? Oh. Foot long. Damn, dude. A chili cheese dog. 790, dude. That shit has got more sodium than the fucking burger, dude. And it has, what is it? 800. Eight, my bad. Uh, fucking 400 less calories. Holy shit, dude. Damn, 300 less calories. That's incredible. You guys hear that thunder? But, uh, dude, that's 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 a lot of fucking calories for a hot dog, man. For one hot dog. I guess it is. Nah, there's no excuse for this, dude. Damn, her arms are just like... When you reach the size that you... When you reach, like, the sizes of these particular types of people, it's always so... It's it's an enigma to me, right? Um, It's uncanny when I see somebody walking down the street because their bodies are so big. But it like because the areas of their bodies that grow up more so than the others, like the gut area and like the body area is obviously going to grow out a lot more than other places. Right. So you have this ginormous body and then such small little feet, because usually fat does not accumulate on your feet because it's like there's no fat receptors down there because you're not supposed to grow fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're supposed to walk on those. So your body never thought we're going to put fat storage here. No. So there's not much fat storage there. And the same thing for like your wrist, which is crazy, by the way, the wrist and the hands, um, you see that. And it's like, it's so crazy when I see the big giant people and they have such small appendages, right? They have such small little body parts in correlation to the rest of their body because it, 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 it's obvious like the, you're eating all this fucking food, but it's, it's so, it's so it's, it's never, it's never going to be less uncanny for me to see somebody with these small body parts. Cheese, Coney. Yum. She got two of them things? <laughs> and. Oh my god. Police! Some chili cheese. Dang. Tater tots. Tater tots, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Dude, that is excruciating. This is morbid right here, bro. The tater tots, almost a thousand on their own. So we're looking at oh, just for the food, just for the food, just FYI. It's about 3K. It's about 3K for the food. Craziness, bro. Because I know I could probably eat all of this and not even feel phased. Um, but she's going to body it, dude, I guess. Look at the little like a unicorn back. It's pretty cool. I like that little unicorn. But it's probably just like brightening up the mood when you're looking at something that's literally depressing because this whole thing is fucking depressing yummy i also got a uh shake from sonic oh it's one of my favorite oh uh, damn oh uh, damn that's a lot that's a lot dude 1500 calories oh damn that's more than the burger dude Holy shit! That's crazy! Oh my god! So, is this all together like four and some change? Like four, three, four thousand three hundred? Oh, damn, bro! That's not good! That's not good! Fat, fat, hungry chick. This needs to stop. You can't do this! You cannot do this, not even one time at the weight that you're at. 
this? You're living on the edge, dude. Whoa. That one drink is somebody's entire... <laughs> that one drink is somebody's entire food. Like, everything they eat in a day is that one drink. And that should really put things in perspective, though. Because the amount of times I see people don't understand that the drinks they drink are the what is actually letting them gain weight. You can eat perfect throughout the entire day and then sit there, body slam, two, three, four sodas in a day or a cup of coffee that you put way too much sugar in or whatever. And now you just add it on like an extra three, four hundred, let alone a fifteen hundred calorie fucking drink. That's crazy, dude. Holy shit. At that point, at that point, bro, you might as well just hop over there and just have your mouth under the nozzle of like an ice cream dispenser. And just, you know, just like permanently slurp it down because that has got to be much more fucking filling than whatever all this is that. Oh, my God. Like, I would rather eat like sticks of deodorant. Then drink and eat all of this fucking food. I mean, granted, it would probably taste much better than a stick of deodorant, but th this is insane, bro. Like, I'd rather like you know, slide my slide my dick into like I don't know, like uh, four four jars of hot sauce simultaneously, one after another, than fucking do this shit. Shakes from there, the uh, banana cream pie milkshake. Damn, cream pie, dude. Love those. You gotta stop loving them. Dude, at this rate, right, I feel like once you get to the size, you've had enough. You get what I'm saying, dude? You did enough in your life. You already ate way too much in your life. You probably ate, en I mean, at the rate that you're going. Literally, I'm looking at like 4K of some of food, right? If you're eating double or even triple what people eat in one day in one meal, you, I think you ate enough. I think that you probably did enough to yourself. You, you, I'm, I'm already looking at the sins of all of the stuff that's, that's accumulated on your body. Right, I'm looking at years and years of abuse on your body. I'm literally seeing up like the burgers and chicken and pizza that you ate from like a decade ago on your body. I'm seeing all of that shit there because it didn't go anywhere, right? And then people people get confused when I say that stuff. What I mean is when I see when I say I I see the pizza on her body, I'm saying when she ate that pizza ten years ago. That fat, that extra calories that went nowhere because she couldn't burn it off because she was already fat, that just went into fat storage. We're seeing that on her body still. We're still seeing the pizza. We're seeing the Thanksgiving dinners that she's eating every single fucking day. This woman is literally showing us years and years of food on her body, and then she still thinks that she could eat like this. What is going on, man? You can't do that. You cannot do that, man. You've already had your fill and then some. Way more, bro. You've eaten probably more than I've ever eaten in my entire life. Like, quad 10 times, probably. Oh, my God. And a corn dog. <laughs> and a corn dog? Not as fancy as those cheesy corn dogs I've oh been seeing God. on YouTube. Why did you need that? <laughs> a corn dog all the same. Ooh, oh, the bacon's just coming off of this. Can we see it? Can we see the monster? You don't have to do that. You don't gotta lick the fingers. Mm. Damn. Damn! Damn! Mm. Yep, yeah, that's got two, two patties in there. That is atrocious. You don't feel bad about this? You don't feel bad about what you're doing to your body? Like, when you get up, when you get up and you look in the mirror, what do you think? What do you think of, like, God damn. Like, I feel like if it was me and I looked in the mirror, I'd be like, <gasps> what the fuck? What happened to me? I can't even move in the ways that I want to. This is not sustainable. Obviously fucking not. Is, is she at, like, an accelerated age, too? I'm seeing those gray hairs. She's got to be, like, what, 40 at minimum? Late 30s, bro? You, that is terrible, bro. You can, you might be able to pull off a few years of this in your, like, early 20s up until, like, maybe early 30s. But once you start getting past that, is it sustainable? I mean, obviously, you shouldn't even be doing it to begin with. But if you are going to do it, you should probably do it in those years, which I, I wouldn't even recommend that. The amount of times I've seen, like, really, really fat people in their early 20s, and I think, dude, you can literally be hot shit. You can literally be at your peak of sexiness right now, but instead you want to literally deteriorate all your options in the dating realm, or not even in the dating realm, but just in general, right? Looking good in general, 
for a couple extra cheeseburgers, for a couple extra servings of pizza, is it fucking worth it, dude? No, it's not fucking worth it. You look fucking terrible, dude. You're perpetually unhappy. You're literally complaining about shit that doesn't even make sense anymore, bro. And you know what the issue is. You know that you're eating way too fucking much. And you think that you could do this for your whole life. You're fucking wrong, man. You're fucking wrong. And it's always so crazy to me when I see somebody like of this size get past 50. Because I'm like, dude, that's fucking... You must have some really good genetics, right? You, your organs got to be like super resilient, super durable, like coated in adamantium or something like that to even think about sustaining something like that. You know what I'm saying? Just the thought process. I feel like you need iron. You need like iron organs in order to even think about that, let alone even actually put it in practice. But this woman, I'm literally seeing the years and years of abuse on her body. I'm seeing it, dude. And she does nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Out of breath, dude. Looking at that bacon. And a lot of bacon hanging off of it. Don't do it, dude. Just throw it away. Throw it out the window. Mm -hmm. Just like go downtown, right? Here's what you do. This is actually a much better video, right? This video right here is going to be like fucking crazy good, right? You got a car, right? Get in your car and then you got like a sunroof. Okay, this is what you do. Get somebody else to drive your car uh, or get them to drive their car, okay? And then you get the food or just go to McDonald's and just go and get like fucking 40 McDoubles, right? Get like 40 McDoubles for a video, right? And then take those McDoubles and just fucking go to a really poor part of town and just fucking throw them at homeless people. That's what you do. Just fucking take those Mc McChickens, dude, double cheeses, throw them. Just fucking toss them at the fucking homeless people. Dude. You don't have to hit the homeless people. It's assault. Throw it at their feet like you're a fucking door, like you're a, a newspaper boy, right? It probably be, oh man, dude, this is a fucking great video. Get a GoPro, have it strapped to the back of your bike, dude. Have it like a 360 camera. Oh man, dude, this is a fucking good idea. Get on a bike. You're fat, obviously. This is going to make it even better. Get on a bike, have like a fucking basket of McChickens, yeah? And then just go to a poor part of town and just fucking toss McChickens at fucking impoverished people that are obviously doing terrible. And just fucking, there you go, bro. You're, you're getting recognition. People are gonna think you're a great person for tossing double cheeseburgers at people but that, are, that are in need. And you're doing something super fucking unique. Who the, who, who the hell else is on a fucking, who the hell else is on a Huffy? T tossing fucking, who, who the hell else is on a fucking, uh, a mongoose? You know what I'm talking about? The pegs in the back. Um, tossing double cheeses at people, bro. That nobody's doing that. Dude, you're fucking unique. You got it, bro. Do that shit. That's way better than whatever the fuck you're doing right here. Pen. Take a bite of this. Damn, she really got it undressed, too. Hold up, mm. man. Damn. Yeah, bacon. Woo. Damn. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gotta lick the fingers, of course. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh. She's out of breath looking at it. Damn! Mm. Damn, she got the double bite! Oh, <gasps> I can't do that shit, bro. No, 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 no. We'll watch it. But that's, I can't, this is insanity, bro. I'm watching somebody literally, in the name of making good content, slowly but surely expediting their lifespan. This is not a good, <laughs> this is bad. This is really, really bad, dude. Her being out of breath permanently, like the way that she is, just sitting down, that's a really bad problem, dude. That's a really bad problem. But I guess we'll watch her body slam this, uh, whatever she said, this chili cheese dog. Let's see it. Dan looks terrible. Oh! Oh! Damn! Damn, off the finger? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Damn, bro. I'm surprised the stick is even still there after that point, dude. You might as well just body slam the... You might you might as well just body slam the fucking stick in the middle, dude. You'd probably get more fiber out of it because it looks like her diet consists of zero fiber. I'm surprised that this woman even poops at all. All right, guys. We're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video and you enjoyed this particular type of video, because this was somebody... Somebody had asked me to do something like this, and I thought, I will. You know, I, 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 I don't want to, like, look. It's different. Amber Amber Lynn is different, though. She she's very open about the fact that she thinks she's better than certain people because of whatever the fuck, you know. But this woman, I haven't seen anything bad on her, dude. And um, besides her diet, obviously. So I'm not gonna say anything inherently bad about her. Like I'm sure she's delightful. She seems like a nice lady. You, like just looking at her, I don't know much about her. But um, 
It's just, it's just, you know, when I see people of these sizes eating the foods that they do, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, not, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. But uh, let me know if you like this type of video so I can continue to do more of them if you want me to. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all of those amazing things. I would appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. And trust me, I appreciate you tremendously. Uh, seriously, though, I, I really have, man. I've been gazing upon the weight loss journey. I've been gazing upon the, uh, the, the journey that you've been going through recently, dude. And I can assure you that it's nothing but progress, dude. Even on those days you think you're not doing well, you really are. Because in the grand scheme of things, even though you had that one or two days that you were fucking up, you are such a motivation tool for so many people. And the fact that you're continuing, that's really the, that's really the biggest thing here is that <clears throat> even though you may have one of those days, one, one or two days that you might have fucked up in the grand scheme of shit, which is really what you should be looking at, right? It's a weight loss journey. So you have one or two days that maybe you trip. It's okay. It's just a trip. You can keep going and then it'll get better and better and better and better, dude. And you get better and better every single day. Your beauty is accentuated. Your jawline looks delicioso, dude. I'm trying to lick your chin. I want to make sure that when I do lick your chin, though, it's like properly moisturized, which you have been doing recently. I have been noticing the, the proper ingestion of water that you have enjoyed upon yourself. I've really seen it, dude. Delightfully looking upon you, slurping down those ounces and ounces and ounces of water severely lubricating your your body and it really makes me happy knowing that you are so incredibly lubricated so i appreciate you for that if you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now um however you got here the word of the day today is lubrication that's right lubrication because you're lubricated i'm lubricated i've been really slurping down the water as much as i can uh my pee is was clear dude it's fucking clear because i know that I'm properly lubricated. So, and I know you're properly lubricated too, because you are delicious. Absolutely delicious. I want to lick your eyebrow. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram. I barely upload on it. But if you want to follow me, I'll follow you back. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.